Ever since the launch of the James Webb Telescope, the field of research has encountered a profound dilemma. This revolutionary telescope has unveiled remarkable insights into the nature of physics through its captivating Flamingo Deep Field image. However, the predicament lies in the fact that these discoveries challenge our existing cosmological paradigm. Could it be that our previous understanding of the universe was fundamentally flawed? The astonishing images captured by the James Webb Telescope, along with the outcomes of the Flamingo simulations, have exposed a significant gap in our comprehension of the cosmos. We find ourselves in the midst of an unparalleled crisis in the realm of cosmology. Our current models of space and its origins demand urgent reconsideration. But why must we endure such an extensive wait for fresh revelations? It is disconcerting, even distressing, to witness numerous scientists, including those esteemed in their respective fields, grappling with a profound challenge. It appears that they may have been operating under flawed assumptions for decades, constructing elaborate theories and models on shaky foundations. Now, this fragile structure is beginning to crumble. Younger researchers seem more adaptable to the emerging findings, embracing each new development with enthusiasm and exploring alternative perspectives. However, certain branches of science are resisting these undeniable shifts. Could it be that our universe is far older than previously believed? Perhaps the conventional notion of a singular Big Bang event 13.8 billion years ago is erroneous. Our cosmic realm might not have experienced the Dark Ages, and the first stars may not have been colossal, short-lived entities. These assumptions, once integral to the fundamental cosmological model, are now called into question. Determining the age of the universe remains one of the most formidable challenges in modern cosmology, despite advancing measurement techniques. Two distinct methods contribute to the predicament. One involves observing the cosmic microwave background radiation, a remnant of the Big Bang, which offers insights into the universe's early stages. These observations yield data on the expansion rate of the universe, known as the Hubble constant, which in turn helps determine its age. The other method relies on studying events like certain supernovae, whose absolute brightness is known. By comparing their apparent brightness with the established absolute brightness, scientists can calculate the distance and expansion rate of the universe. However, a discrepancy between these two methods, known as the Hubble tension problem, arises. Generally, observations of the microwave background radiation suggest a greater age for the universe than estimates based on more easily measurable events like supernovae. These discrepancies sometimes spark intense debates among scientists. Nonetheless, they could also indicate the existence of one or more unexplored physical phenomena that have yet to be incorporated into our current cosmological models. In this extraordinary situation, reaching a consensus across different scientific disciplines is just as crucial as remaining open to new perspectives and worldviews. In the realm of cosmology, the advent of the James Webb Space Telescope has heralded a new era of exploration, capturing images of what appears to be the oldest sources of light in the universe. These remarkable discoveries are now subjecting our deepest cosmological models and theories to rigorous examination. Particularly challenged is the standard model of cosmology, also known as the CDM model, which hinges on the existence of dark matter and dark energy. This model has successfully elucidated various cosmic phenomena, from the structure of the cosmic microwave background to the distribution of galaxy clusters. However, the latest observations from the James Webb Telescope raise intriguing questions that may not align entirely with our current understanding of dark matter and dark energy. Compounding this uncertainty is the reality that even prior to these recent findings, our comprehension of dark matter and dark energy remained elusive, grounded in pure speculation. Consequently, 
our fundamental cosmological framework rests upon scientific conjectures that have taken on the guise of undeniable truths, a realization that some scientists find challenging to accept. Another concept now under scrutiny due to these novel observations is the theory of cosmic inflation, which posits a rapid expansion of the universe in its earliest moments following the Big Bang. This theory, too, may face revision. Moreover, the precise measurements facilitated by the Webb telescope have the potential to shed fresh light on alternative theories of gravity. These theories, which endeavor to elucidate the dynamics of the universe without invoking dark matter, gain strength from the new data. Excitingly, this context opens the door to alternative cosmological models that function without the need for dark matter. Lastly, the observations from the James Webb Telescope offer intriguing insights into quantum cosmology, applying the principles of quantum mechanics to the entire universe. Of particular interest are concepts like the temporarily and spatially infinite universe and the multiverse. Now, let us explore the remarkable revelations brought forth by the Flamingo study employing the world's most powerful supercomputers to simulate the universe's evolution over billions of years. Flamingo, an acronym for Full Hydro Large Scale Structure Simulations with all sky mapping for the interpretation of next generation observations, has emerged as a groundbreaking simulation project conducted at Durham University in the United Kingdom. It forms part of a broader endeavor by scientists from various disciplines to forge a new understanding of the universe. Fundamentally, Flamingo combines intricate hydrodynamic simulations of large-scale structures in the cosmos with all sky mapping to reinterpret the latest observations. This project has yielded a completely fresh perspective on the evolution of the universe and its structures. The crucial simulation and analysis phases were conducted prior to the remarkable revelations brought forth by the James Webb observations, and ongoing analysis continues to incorporate the data from the telescope. Flamingo represents a long-term undertaking that has been invigorated by the insights gleaned from Webb's findings. The research group, comprising some of the world's most distinguished experts, continuously publishes updated results. Through the integration of real observations from the new space telescope and Flamingo's simulations, groundbreaking insights into the potential roles of dark matter and dark energy have been attained. Flamingo has successfully addressed significant discrepancies within current cosmological models, particularly in terms of the distribution and clustering of matter in the universe. Prior to Flamingo, conflicting predictions regarding matter distribution and clustering had been a primary source of contention. In simpler terms, this pertains to the spatial arrangement of celestial objects such as stars and planets. Some regions of the universe exhibit a smooth and uniform distribution, while others display chaotic and turbulent clustering with vast voids devoid of substantial matter. Scientists sought to determine the underlying structures and forces driving this irregular distribution, yet arrived at divergent conclusions. Flamingo has now demonstrated that these seemingly contradictory outcomes can coexist harmoniously. Areas characterized by pronounced clustering simply follow slightly different initial conditions compared to sparser regions. Ultimately, the distribution of matter in the universe could be a direct imprint of the state immediately following the hypothesized Big Bang, if such an event occurred. Flamingo has reconciled seemingly irreconcilable disparities, but the complete explanation for all structures in the universe remains elusive. Some scientists reluctantly acknowledge the necessity of accounting for variables such as chaos and indeterminate rules in our contemplations. The phrase, God does not play dice, is indeed attributed to Albert Einstein, reflecting his belief in a deterministic and orderly universe. Einstein's work, 
particularly his theory of relativity, has significantly contributed to our understanding of space, time, and gravity. These principles have formed the basis for modern physical theories and have allowed us to explain various phenomena in the universe. However, it is important to note that scientific knowledge and understanding evolve over time. While Einstein's perspective emphasized precise laws and predictability, scientific exploration continuously pushes the boundaries of knowledge. As we delve deeper into the complexities of the universe, we may encounter phenomena and structures that challenge our current understanding. For instance, concepts like dark matter and dark energy, which likely comprise a significant portion of the universe, remain elusive in terms of explanation within our existing physical theories. This does not imply that the universe is governed by chance or that God is playing dice. Rather, it suggests that there are aspects of the universe that require further exploration and refinement of our mathematical and physical frameworks. Science is an ongoing, iterative process that continually strives to unravel the mysteries of the universe. While certain areas may currently elude our scientific methods, it is not an indication of a random or chaotic universe. Instead, it underscores the need for continued scientific inquiry and the potential for future breakthroughs. Ultimately, the pursuit of scientific understanding is an endeavor that requires patience, curiosity, and an openness to re-evaluate our preconceived notions. As humans, we have made significant strides in understanding the world around us through scientific inquiry and exploration. Throughout history, our knowledge and understanding of the universe have evolved thanks to the observations, experiments and theories put forth by countless individuals. From the early humans who observed natural phenomena to the ancient civilizations that developed sophisticated astronomical and mathematical systems and to the great thinkers and scientists of more recent times, we have made remarkable progress in expanding our knowledge. However, it is important to acknowledge that our understanding of the universe is still limited. There are profound questions that remain unanswered, such as the origins of the universe, the nature of consciousness, and the fundamental workings of quantum mechanics. Despite our advancements, there are boundaries to our knowledge. Scientific discoveries and technological advancements have undoubtedly propelled our understanding forward, allowing us to peer deeper into the cosmos and uncover the intricacies of the natural world. Yet, with every new discovery, we often find new questions that challenge our existing understanding. The pursuit of knowledge is a continuous journey, and as we uncover more, we realize how much more there is to learn. It is this awareness of our limitations that drives scientific curiosity and motivates us to explore further. While we may not have all the answers about the universe and its creation, our quest for knowledge remains a fundamental part of our human nature. It is through this pursuit that we continue to expand our understanding and push the boundaries of what we know. So while it is true that there is still much we don't know, we are also fortunate to live in a time when scientific exploration is advancing at an unprecedented pace. Our collective knowledge is constantly growing and with each new generation, we build upon the foundations laid by those who came before us. Thank you for watching. If you've enjoyed our video so far, subscribe to Cosmos Prodigy for there is more to come.